Well, this is awkward. <laughs> but what's good, you guys? It is Wavy Spice here. I'm coming back to you with another video. I know it's been literally forever. It's been over a year since I made a YouTube video, but I'm really happy to be back. Um, I'm in a creative space again, so here I am. If you're new to my channel, what's up? I create content on mid-size fashion and New York lifestyle. A little bit of beauty here and there as well. Um, if you like what you see so far, definitely spice up your life. Join the Spice Gang. Become a Spice Girl. We have a whole lot of fun over here. You know, I know it don't look like it because I haven't made a video forever, but I'm back and I'm actually just wanting to update you guys on where I've been, what I've been up to. Okay, so I literally got my little notebook right here because, girl, it's really been a wild ride. I feel like um, the last time that I saw you guys was probably before I got fired from the corporate job that I worked when I initially moved to New York City. Well, I worked at Oak Street Health and then I got my like big girl job in my career field. You know, I was working for someone that I went to college with and it, things just didn't work out. I ended up getting fired when I asked for a raise. So yeah, that was awkward, but um, we made it through. Um, I was jobless for, I think like maybe a month. And that's how I actually got back into doing hospitality. Yeah, so back into serving, which in New York is super lucrative. And I really like it because I make actually more money than what I made in that corporate setting. And I don't have to like work five days a week, be in the city by 9 a.m. and have all these extra responsibilities and barely getting paid shit, so yeah i'm loving it so far so i've also changed apartments when i moved to new york i lived in that first apartment for two years then i moved into another apartment um, which was in crown heights first i was in um bushwick then i moved to crown heights which um i don't have to tell y'all story about that that's a long story but yeah i did live in new york for six months for absolutely free um, fucking around with that apartment and then now i'm in the apartment that i'm in now which i love i only have one other roommate it's great i feel like i have a large room a great creative space like i can finally be creative again so i'm super excited about that um but back to like the hospitality thing so first of all getting a job in hospitality in new york it's not really as hard as people make it seem but the first job that i worked for I worked there for a year. It was um, called Soko BK. It's actually ran by Mark Daly, which um, he was a very psychopathic boss. Like, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like, that's the craziest boss I've ever had in my life. I could do a million fucking story times on that. So, I mean, I got a lot of content that I wanna drop because just that alone, like, Mark Daly made me, made me have my first panic attack ever. Um, it was just a very crazy, intense work environment. Did not have to be that. Now, thank God, I work in like a totally different restaurant. Um, still black owned because I always like working for like black owned stuff. That's one thing. Ever since I moved here, um, I've always tried to maintain working for black owned businesses or people of color owned businesses or places that heavily have that. So, um, but yeah, so then I ended up getting at the new restaurant that I work at now. And I also had a second job at this like lounge. That's how I ended up getting my bartending skills. So now my second job is being a bartender. So yeah, I got into bartending now. I really love it. Um, I'm trying to make content on that as well. Cause like just the different type of bar vibes, like the different ways to make drinks is, is so fun. It's so intricate. I really love it. And I'm still, you know, pretty new to it. Um, I learned how to make drinks when I was working at this spot called Hendrix House. So yeah, um, that's work life. That's what I'm doing now. I love it. I only work like four days a week. You know, it's kind of rough hours, but you get paid good. The money's good. So love that. Um, I actually have a boyfriend now. We've been together for like almost a year, which is crazy. Like I met him when I was working at SoCo. So yeah, I got a man now. It's definitely my man, my man, my man over here for show show. So yeah, I'm working on decorating my new apartment. I kind of want to start making videos about that. Like I feel like my room is like pretty much where I want it to be. I just want to get a few things hanged in my room. And I mean, maybe eventually I'll get a TV in here, but I kind of like not having a TV in my bedroom. Um, but yeah, everything's together here. I'm, if you guys are interested in like seeing like decorating apartment content and shit like that, I mean, I can definitely do videos like that. I'm more than happy to do videos like that too because I mean that's how you can kind of like do the Amazon store shit and like 
everything's coming together I'm, I'm trying to have a friendsgiving for thanksgiving so hopefully i'll be like really recording and stuff then or whatever so um i cut my hair um on my birthday i got my hair cut into like a bob that stopped like right here um and it's really growing out like it's curly right now but i just got it straight and i've had it straight like three times since i got it cut because i'm really trying to keep up with my trends and try to get my hair back healthy and long like it used to be at like its longest length which i would say was a little past bra strap length which isn't super long but it was long for me so i'm trying to get my hair back there but i feel like i pretty much caught you guys up on everything now um i'm going to costa rica in um november at the end of november beginning of december so i'm excited about that i'll be trying to make content about that but yeah other than that i feel like i caught you guys up it's gonna be a lot more like fashion content coming towards you guys and then a lot of like new york lifestyle content like how to get the job you want how to make money in new york pretty much so yeah guys um i feel like that's pretty much it um i'm just glad to be back like i literally haven't sat down in front of a camera like i made tiktoks but i haven't sat down in front of a fucking camera and when i tell you so long like it doesn't feel weird though like i've been saying a lot because people are obviously migrating back to youtube after like tiktok takeover and all that shit and seeing how tiktok kind of flopped or whatever so everyone's migrating back to youtube so here i am um i miss it i like it like i made a new intro and shit and i hope you guys like it i'm really excited i'm gonna try to be posting new videos every week for you guys even if it's on like the um like reels or whatever they call it here on youtube like the the short video form content because i'm not gonna lie i really do like short form content but yeah guys we'll be making videos i'm back i'm here so definitely spice up y'all's life join the spice gang and i will see you guys in my next video bye